recording myself speaking English every single day for 30 days. Is my spoken English any better now? Hey, my fellow English learner! A month ago I decided to join a speaking challenge because my English had gotten pretty rusty. My listening, reading and writing skills were pretty good. But I hadn't spoken spontaneously and properly in English for more than half a year. And today I'm gonna share this experience with you. Let's dive in! First things first, I know I sound pretty decent on camera, but speaking spontaneously is another beast entirely. <laughs> when I'm not talking to people regularly, I hesitate while speaking so much more, forget words and generally don't feel confident in my speaking ability. I joined a small group on Facebook, English Takeover Community. I leave a link in the description down below. And then I decided to participate in their speaking challenge. All I had to do was to record one video a day, answering one question. They used this template created by ThinkTem Languages for 30 days record yourself challenge. Again, I leave a link to this person's socials in the description. There is a difference between working on your speaking fluency and speaking accuracy. When you work on your speaking fluency, you just speak and you learn to avoid hesitating a lot and pausing while speaking. When you work on your speaking accuracy, on the other hand, you try to speak more slowly and with as few pronunciation, grammar and vocabulary mistakes as possible. And this time I decided to focus on speaking fluency. So I didn't care much about all the vocabulary and grammar mistakes I was making while speaking. My goals were to brush up on my speaking skills and get into the habit of speaking spontaneously on a random topic. So I took my phone and recorded a video. Simple, right? <laughs> that didn't go well. And I talked about it today for a couple of times because I tried to record a video on my phone and the sound was terrible. And then I tried to record a video on my camera, on my MacBook, and it was terrible <laughs> because Facebook doesn't like when I try to upload any videos. And that is why take three. On Facebook, there is a feature of going live, and that's what I did. It was really uncomfortable at first, but it turned out to be a very useful feature because I really tend to overthink everything I do. Every hesitation was caught on camera, and I was kind of forced to come up with words and ideas on the fly, without rehearsing. And it was really easy to start my day with a recording, without wasting my time while making a few takes and then uploading. Um, and the reason why I'm learning English still is because I have this untapped potential of all the knowledge in the world. I have so many things I can enjoy. They're in the world in English. And I'm so grateful I can now understand uh, things I watch without uh, needing to have like a dub over it or without Russian subtitles. Or I can just read a book and enjoy it in its own native glory. <laughs> it's easy to notice how difficult it was for me to speak coherently and fluently. So it was the first day of the challenge. 29 more to go. It was a rough start. Am I live? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's pretty early in the morning for me, but I figured it's kind of better to do it now than to wait till the evening when I have no motivation to talk <laughs> at all. So. And yes, that's how I usually sound in the morning. 
talking spontaneously on camera was still a struggle for me and it was making quite a few vocabulary and grammar mistakes. Mm, the second most memorable thing for me in Great Britain was um, like Oxford, the place with all the universities or colleges and it was the place where Tolkien, my, one of my favorite uh, authors, lived uh, for his whole life, for almost his whole life. I noticed that it was much easier for me to talk about something I was passionate about or something I was very familiar with. Because I was posting these videos in the group, this sense of community really helped me to continue doing it and not to give up. But some questions were not great. Day 11, I think. What is your most embarrassing language moment? Do people enjoy answering these questions? But I feel like getting outside of my comfort zone and answering questions like these was still useful. After weeks of doing these recordings, I started noticing some changes, some progress, finally. I do enjoy reading and at first it was really challenging for me to start because I tried to translate every single word into my native tongue and it was not sustainable it was challenging and i chose materials that are, that were too challenging for me but again i was the chattiest when i spoke about things i was passionate about like books <laughs> on the last day of the challenge i felt the most comfortable with the language and with the recording. Then speaking of resources, I don't know, this platform or any other groups on Facebook are a great source for speaking. Then I used to use like things like Tandem, Hello Talk, and uh, Free for Talk. So these are the platforms where you find your speaking partners but there is a big but there many people treat these platforms as dating websites and i hate that overall i recorded 30 videos in 30 days 238 minutes or almost four hours of me purely speaking in english with videos being around eight minutes on average eight minutes a day is not a lot right you can find eight minutes a day. Did I reach my goals? I definitely saw some progress. Nothing dramatic, but you can't expect anything drastic in 30 days. Is recording videos my habit now? Not really, <laughs> but I'd love to repeat this experience sometime in the future. And and overall, I really enjoyed this experience of recording videos and speaking is much easier for me now. Do you know what else might make speaking easier? Avoiding some common speaking mistakes. I hope this video was useful. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time with more awesome language content.